So this is Dan. Hi Say hello, Dan. Um, Dan has very kindly set up our Econet file system here in the classroom at the Centre for Computing History. Um, we have all these BBC micros. Uh, you can see that we've been messing around. All Econetted now. Not all of them. Uh, there's about six or seven at the moment. Um, and Dan is going to quickly talk us through um, what we have here. Right, we've got a. Uh... Acorn file store, which has the file server unit underneath, which is a modified Beeb motherboard in effect, um, with Econet and clock generator. And on top we've got a 40 megabyte hard drive unit, which is connected via a SCSI cable at the back. Um, that then feeds the clock signal to the rest of the network. Um, which runs all the way down here um, and across the room over to there. And what have we got in terms of software on this? Because we've got here um, a logo there you might recognise. So we've got various few databases. Uh, we've got some information about the museum. We've got Some information about view data as a technology. And we've got a whole bunch of view data pages from long dead systems, uh, including things like uh, Prestel and health data and the gnome at home. So uh, let's go into Micronet 800, which was part of Prestel. In fact, if it was the premium part of Prestel, you had to pay extra to use. And we go on to. There we go. And computer news from. Oh, as recently as. Uh, there's no year on those. I'm guessing this is. 89, there you go. <laughs> News about Amstrad's new 286 and 386 series PCs. Yes. Fantastic stuff. And we got a whole bunch of games from the file server as well. This might be a bit slower on a beep. Still faster than the Commodore 64 disk drive, eh? <laughs> that's a lot slower. I was going to say that's a bit slower, yeah. Um, hmm. That's because the master uses buffered IO for networking. Okay. The Beeb doesn't have any buffers, so it's a lot slower. So it probably should be said as well, we, it's not just Beebs on here. Um, so we have a whole little row of BBCs here that are all booted and connected up, um, all showing their home page there. Um, these are all going to be cleaned up. Uh, these are just ones that we've found that have got Econet in the, uh, installed in them. But over here we've got an A3020 which is also on the system. Um, so on the file server there's a whole directory there for uh, um, Archimedes games as well. Uh, so we've got the connection from there to the Econet points there, of which there are a number of. And over here um, we've got the Master Compact connected up as well, yep. uh, booting into the same, and the A440 uh, as well, all on Econet, and there's the Elite folder running on there. So we've got to do a bit of tidying up. But uh, apart from tidying up and connecting some cables up and running them all the way around the room, um, we are up and working, so that's really cool. So we have a load of other beeps over here as well. Um, at some point, we'll connect all this lot up as well. Um, and uh, there's got to be, is there some sort of Econet based game you can play against each other? Uh, yes, there are. There's Muggins, there's Cave 2, and something else. I've 
yet to explore these properly. That's, <laughs> that's definitely on my to-do list. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Dan, for Pleasure. setting all this up. It's been brilliant, and we're going to get this all this tidied up um, and make it uh, visitor-friendly. Um, but look at all that. Echonated Beeves with the Centre for Computer History logo on. Amazing stuff. Be careful it doesn't phosphor burn into the monitors. Uh, yeah, good point. Um, well, we'll work out something. Yeah. <laughs>